As a parent, we have been given an incredible gift, a precious, precious gift. The opportunity to guide and nurture and nourish a soul to adulthood. And this is so precious because we are their primary carer from the moment they are conceived. And what they're doing is they're taking in all of this information from us through all of their senses. They're taking in information from what they're hearing, what they're seeing, what they're smelling, what they're tasting, what they're feeling on their body. And also they're taking it from what they feel within. You see, they have to do that because they have to do it to survive. It's all about survival. And so our role as a parent is to provide that nourishing and nurturing space to actually give them the opportunity to live their best life. And you know how they take that information in? It's actually not just by words or by sounds as such. When you go deeper, you understand that they're actually taking in the energy. It's the vibration of the sounds. It's the vibration of the images. It's the vibration of the smells. It's the vibration of the touch. It's the vibration of the taste and it's the vibration of the feeling and the thoughts. They are actually hearing words, but they're also hearing thoughts. So once you understand this as a parent, there are some amazing things that you can do every day that will really make a difference as they grow into the extraordinary adult they have the potential to be. And I'm going to share these with you now. You see, what it's about is providing a nourishing, nurturing, loving environment. So let's just think about thoughts and words. How often do you think you are extraordinary? You are amazing. I love you. How often do you say that? When you do that, you are enabling all their cells to open into the potential that they can be open and wide taking in that information thinking positive thoughts and saying positive thoughts are so extraordinary and then let's think about images what images are you showing your child are you taking them out into nature so that they can see the beauty of the plants, of the sky, of the flowers. Let them experience that. Let all of their senses take in that beautiful, beautiful myriad of images that nature provides us with. And then let's talk about the smell and our taste. The opportunity for you to cook with the beautiful foods that we have available, with the vegetables and the fruits and, and all, all the seeds and everything that we have to offer and to create foods that smell delicious, that taste extraordinary. And then the opportunity to touch, to actually stroke your child, to actually let them feel that feel of feeling of being loved. And then of course, you give them the opportunity to feel so safe with, it, with you. In that way, you are providing the most extraordinary, nourishing and nurturing place for your child. From there, they will move forward. And of course, sometimes we get so frustrated and that's okay too. But if you back that up by, by thinking and saying and showing that you really, really love them, no matter what action they're going to do, they will have a, the confidence to grow into an extraordinary adult. Have a magical day and I hope to see you soon.